Good morning, my friend. Wait, where am I? In my beautiful little enclave. I'm um, in the process of whipping up a new patio. Yeah, I'm gonna call it the the Fabio patio because mm. it's an under it's undergoing a process right now. We're we're sitting in the undergrowth. Of something that's just you know just emerged i guess like this crazy little fella of a friend of mine if you're new to the channel hello hi welcome uh, my name's reese and i'm i'm doing a video for you right now the times and life of reesey poo so at the moment what have i got to fill you in on uh, kind of right in the in the middle of it i'm going through it uh i am on my last two week stint of uni Yay! yeah just about to wrap up creative writing at rmit uh so that's been a three year stint for me i can't wait to get out and emerge like a butterfly and shine i'm writing up to speed i'm like writing 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 i've got a couple of major works due i'm i'm right in the in the the curl of the tail i'm just i'm actually plotting out my stories but I, i'm supposed to be plotting out my life i should say where it's all going from here let me just like go back a couple of paces a couple of steps and tell you about what i've been working on i had this experimental essay so my creative arts course is very all, all about like ah oh, whimsy and just you know being like that just do you boo so I, um, like, I will hand something in, I assure you. I'm just gonna whip out an essay left-handed. Like, yeah, fun. No. Linking up left side of your brain with your left hand and getting, getting creative. So I wrote my essay left-handed, and then I talked about I'm writing this left-handed. And as to the reason why, choose your own adventure. I can't really prescribe to you why all I know is just like I do this now or I die and I don't get a mark and yeah the marker was all about that as well he was like yeah okay you went into a place I've never seen before um, sometimes thinking on the spot really works I mean like this this fell off another wall today Ooh, shaping up this space you should have seen this place when I first like moved in back of the hespis and it's all progress in life, you know? Like, we're just all from yesterday to here to now to tomorrow. We're all changing all the time. And so is this patio, which I'm going to show you now. So here's what I've found. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is a, a real mammoth job and effort. Right now, you can't tell why, but once it's fully set up, kiddios, you're going to know how hard it was to get this in place. This was a real rugged ass. Oh, there we go, vlog style. Kind of took it uh, off the hands of my uh, favourite cafe that I work next to. It's about three, four, five k's from up the road. So then I, oh, coffee time, soz. Mm, mm. Cold coffee for a cold climate, for a cold little heart. No, I try to be warm, I try and warm it up. Warm it up, la la, la la, la. So I went to the cafe and I said, my milkshake brings other boys. I wanted a grass hut for my milkshake bar so the boys can come to the yard. Uh, and so I, you know, I went and I grabbed it and... Dum, da -dum, da -dum. By the time I got it home, it was so funny because it had these wheels. I noticed that those wheels attached wouldn't fit through the gate, right? Like I'd used all of my muscle man energy. As you can tell, I'm a fucking brawler. Back up. You, you're a little too big for your boots right now. You're, you're a giraffe gangling around. Oh no, you're like one of like those uh, <laughs> boneless, full of air characters uh, outside of a car yard. No, calm your tits. No, it's the crystal's fault. It's not me. I got it in here and all the housemates went home. It was an elaborate scheme. After all that effort, you don't realise how far it was. On a public street in Melbourne, you know, with trams over tricky, like train lines, um, you know, tracks and all of that. And just cars over a highway. It was fucking messed up, really. I was just like, yeah, I gotta have it. I gotta get it done. It's gonna be perfect for my YouTube. So I did all this for you, you, me. I don't know who's watching. I, 
open to interpretation who I did it for, but I still did it. Two hours later, he was walking in the same spot. You know, I got the thing done. So uh, I dragged it back in. And I won't let it stop me. So then Ian, um, my other housemate here, was walking through the door and I went, hey, you've got to help me get this in. So he, he worked it out straight away. He's just angled it another direction. And it had the wheels, so it was easy then. And I'm like, ah. So then he got it through the gate, wheeled it in there. and um, But then by the time I got to this next gate, it was like a checkpoint. It was like a bloody... Uh, like a video game. It was like I through these missions and obstacles and stuff. So to this point, Annie's like, mate, you're gonna have to get a hacksaw. <laughs> okay. So there I am, hacksawing. Hoo-ha hoot nanny life has been so busy, making me mega dizzy, and that's why I fell over. Uh, it's just been a bit chaotic. <laughs> I tripped over. I mean, that's the short of it all. I was having an early night, rise and shine, top morning, be health freaky conscious and all that. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was about to... I, I, one thing goes down, and I mean, touch wood. Maybe don't touch it too hard, Reese. Actually, that fucking wooden fence, it'll fall in on you. And... I got up to grab, what was it, water, something like that, and it was pitch black, and I haven't changed my light bulb in ages, so I'm relying on these lamps, you know? That lamp. So I had the lamp actually broken, and I had no lampshade on it. The lights were off everywhere. Anyway, and I've gone to pick something up. Um, I'll show you what happened. But I'll use my I'll use my like fun lamp that doesn't hurt. Oh, I'm I'm oh, I'm scrounging. Oh, I'm so like. Did this, does this work as a blindfold? No, it doesn't, Reese. And you've mussed your hair. Oh well, I'm supposed to be a rugged man from before, so fuck the hair. Got a black eye. I can do I can do handyman stuff. Yeah, can do it. Bent down and went crack. And just all I'm sure you, you can notice that I it, not all is well. Um, uh, it went up, like, I did just cross the road and go down the street before and, uh, you know, meet a local grocer where I was off to buy some stuff. And hey, where's your eggs, man? I'm there. From the farm? Uh, uh, over there, in that section, that way, yeah. You, you see him? Oh, okay, good. Yeah. He's from Italy, so he goes, yeah. Uh, no, turn around uh, that, uh, that direction. <laughs> sure, sure, man, yeah, ha, <laughs> ha, Okay, bye-bye. Oh, you need to pay, yeah. Oh, man, what happened to you? Is this, you got in fight? You got a, you were okay, man? Are you okay? No, no, I didn't. You know me. No, I don't know you. Came off second best from a lamp, my friend. That's what happened here. And I had a real light bulb moment. That comes from a great girlfriend of mine, uh, Alicia from uni. She actually said that the other day. She went, oh, Reese. She saw me and she went, yeah, you had a light bulb moment when I told her the story. And I just went, okay, dead set keen on regurgitating that for a lifetime usage while I've got this shiny bad boy. Cause you know, honey, this will probably never happen to me again. Oh, lies. I'm a bit of a klutzy coo, klutzy, klutzy doo -dah. A humpty, a humpty, klutzy, humpty, humpty. Ish, ish, she gives me a lot of girl, ishy. Leash. 
You're doing well, honey. You're getting through that burger better than I'm getting through my life. Hey, we're up to right here and now. YouTube. It's all about that. It's all about now, YouTube. So thank you for watching this. It's been a, a it's been a crazy journey to get here. Uh, I just want to thank you know I want to thank my sponsor, uh, Makona. I want to thank Makona for getting me through to the other side of everything that I do. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, see them dancing, walking around on those... <laughs> what do you call them? Feet.